Hey guys, even here, Texas Pro prejudging Open Division. Who is going to win this show? One of these three guys, which one of them? I have no clue. I don't know. It could be either one of these three guys. So, first of all, Phil Klahar. Wow. He brought pretty much the same, if not better, conditioning than Tampa. And I think he came bigger and fuller somehow. So his arms and his shoulders haven't been really dwarfed by Ian, for example. Not even chest, and I wouldn't even say the same thing about the legs. Sure, yeah, you can see right here, his legs are smaller, but in the comparison, it's not really that big of a difference. You're gonna see that in a moment. Anyways, he brought an amazing shape, and he might very well win this show. I wouldn't be too surprised. Ian improved his conditioning, he came much much sharper, pretty much same size, maybe even looks bigger because he's sharper. From the side his waist looks tiny, but in certain poses he's having some distension problems. Of course he's not gonna showcase that in a posing routine, but you will see that in a comparison round. Side tricep, one of his best poses, side chest was as well. And of course most muscular, absolutely freaky. Alright, so Steve Kuklo. Steve, did he bring the conditioning? Yes, he brought it, but I think he was a little bit softer than the other two guys, than Phil and Ian. But his frame, the size of this guy, he takes so much space on the stage, he's dwarfing everybody pretty much. You're gonna see that in a moment. Emilio Chartre made a post with him saying that uh, Steve is 290 pounds right now, guys, 290. Uh, here, here you can see, uh, back, back, uh, not just back itself, but glutes and hamstrings could be a little bit sharper, more defined. Overall, he's good, he's, he can win the show, sure, he might win it, but is he in his best conditioning ever? I don't know, I don't think so. Maybe I'm mistaking, I wasn't there, I'm just looking at this live stream. He does look good, he might win the show, compared to the other guys, I think he's a tiny bit softer. I also had to mention Hassan Mustafa because he looked like an absolute freak, look at his side, just how big this guy is. And his conditioning I think improved a little bit, but from behind it's just not good enough, so he's not gonna be in top 3, probably 4th spot in this show because of this, of, the, of this freaking crazy looking mess. He's so massive, it's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, now let's take a look at the final round of comparison, this was the top 3, so as you can see right now, Steve Kukla is in the middle, but they're gonna switch these guys around every possible way, uh, front double bicep, it's really hard to judge this show, because as you can see, front double bicep, Phil Klahar has nothing to do with these two guys, they look much much better than him, because of the stomach, and the legs, and just the overall flow, but then from behind, he kills them, so it's really hard to say who's gonna win. Side chest, Ian was much better at Tampa than Phil in side chest, but Phil somehow managed to fill up quite nicely, though Ian looks sharper than Steve, but it's strange that, that, that Ian is such a mass monster and he looks small, kind of, compared to, to Steve, because Steve is so much taller, though pound for pound I think Ian is actually holding on to more muscle, especially in the legs. Uh, from the back, I mean, if you compare Ian and Steve, because... Phil is definitely beating these two guys. Ian has more details actually in the back double bicep. In the back lat spread, Ian just doesn't flow well, it just looks off. And of course, both of these poses are won by Phil here. So again, it's really hard to tell who's gonna win this show. Side tricep, this is definitely not gonna be Phil's pose. It's gonna be between Ian and look at how close they are. Uh, Ian and Steve, but uh, again, Ian has a better one, but Steve is bigger. So I'm not sure. At first, at first sight, I thought Steve is winning this and Ian is pushing him really bad, really hard. But then I thought it might even be Phil Klahar actually who's gonna win this show. I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. So again, uh, Phil Klahar, the best conditioning, the best from the back as far as details and everything. Ian, good conditioning, not the best flow of physique, a lot of weaknesses. Uh, but uh, big, massive, though Steve is bigger frame, more complete of a physique, less details, less conditioning, so it's really tough to judge, I can't just uh, make my mind, if I had to say something, I think I would still go with Steve, just because of the mess, because he's just the most complete guy here, the least amount of flaws, weaknesses, and also good conditioning and bigger frame than everybody else, but uh, it, it's a good show, it's a really freaking good show. You gotta love it when shows are this competitive. Now they actually put Phil in the middle, and look at how much is he destroying these two guys. This is like looking at Ronnie Coleman, a little bit smaller Ronnie Coleman, 
compared to these two guys. I mean, he's just crushing them in the back department. So I think it is a it is a possibility for him to win the show. Uh, but I think it's more likely to see Steve Kukla win it, Ian second and Phil third. But it could go it could go either way. I have no idea, honestly, guys. <laughs> I just can't make my mind. Maybe I'm gonna be more certain after the finals. But we'll see. Right now, you tell me who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to be second or third? Whatever your take is, tell me down below in the comment section. Subscribe for more updates, for results and for 2-12 that is coming next after this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. All the best and bye-bye.